Hi, this is Ashlyn with Bellevue Avenue and Ashlyn May Photography, and I'm going to show you another edit using the new Resplendent Collection Photoshop Actions. So let's get started with this image. The first thing I'm going to do is use the glitter foundation just to clean it up a bit and give it a nice pop. I'm going to bring the opacity down to around 30. So here's a before and after, just gives it a nice little pop. Okay, next I'm going to use the all-in-one portrait kit. Okay, I'm going to go in and use the creamy smooth skin. Not much needed there. Now we're going to use the peachy glow brush just to brighten up his skin. What I really like to use is the blushing cheeks and lips just to give a little bit of a rosy flush to the cheeks. So I'm bringing my flow down to about 10 and I'm just gonna brush that on a little bit here. I got a little bit on his nose so I'm going to use my black brush to remove that. Okay, let me see how that looks. Yep, I like that. And I don't really need to do his lashes or brows or sharpen his eyes, so we will be done with that. So before and after. This gives him a nice peachy pink glow to his skin. Okay, next I want to darken up around here a bit, so I'm going to use the background brush Dark as Night. The black layer mask is activated, so in order to paint on the black you need to have a soft white brush and I like to have my flow pretty low so that I can brush on the effect and I'm just gonna kinda darken up a bit around here and add just a little bit to the sky okay Next, I want it to look like there's sun peeking through in the background here. So I'm going to use some of the sunbursts, and I'm going to use a sheer sunburst warm sun. These are small little ones, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of dot these along the tree line. Okay, so I'll put one here, then I'm going to control J and duplicate it and just move the next one here, next one here. And just kind of bring them all along that tree line. All right. Obviously, it's over him and the balloons, so I'm going to group these together, add a layer mask, use a soft black brush at 100%, and brush it off of him and the balloons. I'm going to do it pretty quickly here, and then I'll show you how to wrap the glow around the balloons just a little bit. So it looks realistic. Okay, so if the light were wrapping around from behind, you'd have a little bit of spillover on the edges. So I'm going to use the white brush, bring the flow down to maybe 15, and then I'm just going to slowly paint on some of that light back around these edges, just a little bit. So it looks like the light is kind of wrapping around him and the balloons. So that's how we add the light there. All right, next I want to add a little bit more light streaming through here. So I'm going to use another sunburst and I'm going to use a creamy one, Orange Julius. And I'm going to move that right over about here. Okay, again, I'm going to brush it off of him. So we use a black brush at 100%. And I'm going to be pretty liberal with that because we'll come back in and let it wrap around again. Okay, white brush, low flow. Let's let some of that light back in. Okay, 
So there's that extra pop of light right there with the orange Julius sunburst. Next, I want to add a little bit more warmth down the center. So I'm going to use one of our color shifts. Sunny Hue, I love it. It's, it's warm and very nice. I'm going to only keep it in the center because I liked the bluish colors up here and the uh, cooler green down here. So I'm going to use a black brush at 100% and just remove that warm hue from the bottom and top and bottom. Okay, just a little more right there to get those balloons warmed up before and after. Now I'm going to do a little bit more color toning here using our color shifts. So I'm going to use Peacock at 100%. Color lift. I'm going to bring that down to 20 or 19. And then circuit, which gives kind of a deeper pop. Okay. I'm going to group these together and bring the opacity down to about 40 just to kind of bring that down a little bit. And I want to brush some off his face since it's kind of giving him a reddish tone. So I'll add a layer mask, choose a black brush at 100%, and then I'm just going to come in here and remove that from his face and a little bit from his body. Okay, so before and after gives nice toning to that. Now I want to add a little bit more light and color up here in the cloud area. So we'll go to the paint on color and use the creamy pink and I'm going to bring my flow down a little bit. Add just a little bit of pink to the sky to enhance that beautiful sunset sky. Okay, and I'm going to bring the opacity down to about 30. And then our last step is just to add a tiny bit more warmth. And I'm going to use Ginger Glaze. And I'm going to brush it off the top and bottom again so that I can keep the cooler tones there. So I'm choosing my black brush, flow at 100%, and I'm just going to brush it off right there. Okay, so that was a more complex edit with the collection. Just to give you an idea of how far you can take this. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please check out some of the other ones so you can see more examples of how to use the Resplendent Collection. And thank you so much for joining us.